Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome aboard. And my name is Roy. I'm an individual that just happens to have spastic diplegia cerebral palsy. You can learn more about me by looking down in the description box. Uh, there I've included an introduction video, my official Facebook page, as well as my Facebook group for um, disability and chronic illness support. So I do invite you to check those out. If you like the content that you see here, I invite you to give the video a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, it helps me out and I greatly appreciate it. With that being said, let's get started with today's video. Okay, so filming this video has been quite a challenge. Uh, first, I can't get the phone to stop ringing. Every time I turn around to record, the phone rings and then um, I get distracted and whatnot. And then of course, I can't seem to get the lighting right. But anyway, we'll get through it. Originally, I was going to do a video on home accessibility and where I'm at now um, but I decided to start out kind of telling you uh, what it was like from like my childhood days um, and then moving into uh, my adult um, life so growing up um, in my school days here um, my mother had a house that was a one floor plan and then the extent of that accessibility um, was a ramp to get me inside uh, once inside um, i would use my crutches or a walker uh, to get me around or i would crawl if i needed to get in and out of the tub i would climb in head first climb out head first then if I needed to get anything out of a cabinet and I couldn't reach it, I would climb up on a chair, climb up on the counter uh, to get what I needed. Um, in school, um, I had an aide that would um, follow me around um, and help me do the things that I needed. If they weren't around then the, and I needed something, the teacher could uh, page for the aide to come down and uh, help me. Then as I got into like middle school, um, one of my peers uh, was assigned to be like my buddy. Uh, they would follow me around from like class to class, um, kind of help me you know, wherever I needed it, which was cool for her because um, it got me out of, it got her out of class, uh, a, a lot of times, so I'm sure she appreciated that. Um, I had an IEP, uh, for those of you that do not know what an IEP is, it's an individual education plan, um, that makes sure that I get the services that I need, um, as far as services, I recall having physical therapy, occupational therapy, um, and then I had um, exemptions for like test taking, um, like extended time and whatnot. So uh, that was very helpful. Very thankful uh, for my teachers, especially like my teachers in my middle school and high school days because if not for them um, I wouldn't be where I'm at today um, I probably would have ended my life um, I, I I'm, I'm almost sure of it but it's it's because of them and and the Lord uh, especially 
the Lord is, is what put them there. Um, knowing what I know now, had the Lord not put them there, um, I would have been in big trouble. But they've really helped me a lot. And I'm still, I'm, I'm fortunate because I'm still able to uh, talk to them today. And they're, um, they still play a big role in my life. Um, some of them in person uh, even still play a big role in my life. So, um, yeah, so that's kind of, um, you know, what it was like as far as accessibility growing up. Um, you know, having, you know, not really having a lot of accessibility. Um, had lots of surgeries. Um, and, uh, life was pretty crazy, but, but that's, that's the basics of it. So, uh, in future videos, uh, we'll talk about some of the other stuff I went through, um, and whatnot. But, uh, for now, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. I hope y'all are doing well. Um, stay healthy. And until next time. God bless.